Welcome to the Healthy Motion Series with Adrenal Alternatives Foundation. This video series is not meant to treat or manage any condition, and be sure you get clearance with your physician before starting any new protocols. Hello everyone and welcome to the second video of the Healthy Motion Series. We're here with board member Richard who is going to show us two exercises, two healthy movements today. We're gonna work the upper body and the lower body with two simple exercises. So I'll let Richard explain them and I'll do them with you guys. Thank you once again, Winslow. So the first exercise I'm going to show you guys is you're going to be seated in a chair, have your body positioned in an upright position, and you're gonna put both arms out in front of you. You can overlap them however you like, or you can just simply put them out, you know, like this, touch, doesn't matter how you do it, as long as you just have your arms out in front of you. And then you're going to slowly knee forward, slowly, and then just reach, reach as far as you comfortably can. Don't overdo it, you know, don't push beyond your comfort zone. If you feel comfortable, you know, going part way, that's fine. If you're feeling like you can go a little bit further, that's fine too. But don't push past your comfort zone. Make sure you breathe. Really, really think about the motion you're doing and then come back. And the reason I say really think about the motion you're doing is because you really wanna be mindfully engaged in the motions that you're doing. I find it to be more beneficial and you just, it just, there, there's just a lot more to it than just kind of going through the motions with, uh, you definitely don't want it to feel like a chore. So that's why I always recommend, you know, really being mindfully engaged. So we'll do that again, arms out, and then just reach as far forward as you comfortably can. And then you can hold for a couple seconds. And if you want to come back right away, you can exercise I'm going to show you is actually going to target the lower body. And the reason I'm showing you this with this um, in the same video is because some of you may notice when you do that, you know, first reaching exercise, you're putting a little bit of tension on your, your quads. So I'm actually going to show you something that's going to actually counter any type of, you know, just slight strain or tension that you might do. I'm actually going to explain this one because I don't have the proper the, um, I don't have the proper means of, of showing it to you effectively, but you need to be on a high surface, like either a couch or a bed, preferably, because you want to be, you know, high off the ground. And what you're going to do is you're going to be up against, you're going to be on the side of the bed, you're going to be on your bed or your couch, you're going to be on the side to the point where one leg can do hang over. And then you're just going to allow your leg to hang over. And by doing that, basically the resistance of gravity pushing your quad is actually going to help stretch that area. So it kind of counters any type of, you know, strain that you may or may not feel for the first exercise, which is why I'm showing you the second exercise. And obviously, if you're on a couch, you'll have to just switch flip um yeah you'll have to switch positions so let's say you're on the couch and the floor is here and you're targeting this leg you lean back and then let that leg you know lean over but obviously from the, from this position you can't do the other leg so then you have to get on your couch and then just simply switch to the other side and then now you got your other leg leaning over and then same thing with, with a bed too, you know, whichever side you're going to be leaning on, you just have to reposition your body so you can get both sides. And like I said, I apologize. I don't have a high enough surface to actually properly demonstrate that because mine, I think we're only talking like maybe this high and you want prob probably a little bit more than that for what I have. So I hope that makes sense. But like I said, the reason I, I showed the second exercise is to counter any type of little bit of, um, you know, tension that people may or may not experience in the, in the quads. 
This content has been brought to you by the Adrenal Alternatives Foundation, which is a 501c3 nonprofit patient advocacy organization dedicated to education, advocacy, and encouragement for all adrenal disease. For more information, you can visit our website, adrenalalternatives.com, and you can also contact Richard on his website, transfigurephoenix.com.